Welcome to the September 11th meeting of the Falmouth Conservation Commission. A couple of ground rules. Please silence your electronic devices, both of you. You're going to hold a private conversation. Do it outside. Oh, there it is. This meeting is being recorded by FCTV. If there's anyone else recording this meeting, please identify yourself for the record. If you're here to speak on a matter before the commission, and we certainly encourage you to do so, do so at the appropriate time from the podium. State your name for the record and speak into the microphone. Mr. Chair, Mr. I'd Chair. like to request a moment of silence for the memory of those who passed away on 9 11, and for all of the first responders who to this day did heroic things, and many of them still suffer the effects. Let us. Thank you. Thank you. First up, vote minutes, August 28th. It says 2018. Is that a typo? That's a typo. <laughs> I've read them, and um, I'd like to make a motion to approve. Second. second. Right. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Next up, request for a continuance for determination of applicability. Karen Olcott, 141 Bay Road, Woods Hole, Mass. For permission to construct an addition over existing patio and install mitigation plantings. Yes, Mr. Chairman, the applicant is requesting a continuance until um, uh, September 25th. We're meeting with her next week. Okay, so move. Second. We have a motion and a second to continue until the 25th. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Next up, request for a determination of applicability. William J. Murphy, Jr., 2007 Revocable Trust, 236 Alder Lane, North Falmouth, Mass., for permission to upgrade to a Title V septic system. So this already is to replace a failed septic system. <coughs> upgraded Title V system. The new system will be placed uh, as far away from resource areas as possible. It will be split into two sections in order to avoid removing a large tree that's in the front yard. And the current system will be removed to help facilitate the installation of the new system. Uh, staff recommends a negative two under the state and bylaw. Resource area boundaries are not confirmed under this RDA. So move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion from the board? I just want to say it's nice to see somebody that really thought when they did the SAS to save the tree and did it in two sections. That's pretty neat. Kudos. All right, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. <coughs> Gary and Sue Jacobson, 406 Quisset Ave, Falmouth, Mass. For permission of Vista Prune, according to FWR 10.1810B. Mm -hmm. uh, staff recommends a negative two under the state and bylaw resource areas. Boundaries are not confirmed under this RDA. So move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, a call for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Sorry. It is unanimous. It's okay. Next up, Michael Jones, 65 Shady Lane, East Falmouth, yeah. Mass. For permission to construct an addition previously approved under notice of intent, DEP number 25-4437. Staff recommends a negative two under the state and bylaw. Resource area boundaries are not confirmed. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Why is this going to an RDA? Yeah. I can handle that one. Um, <laughs> basically, this, the, the plan was redesigned. So they requested a certificate of compliance, which you'll be signing this evening, that the work under the uh, order that was just issued was not completed. They moved the whole, they shifted basically the whole um, addition landward so there's only a tiny amount that's actually within jurisdiction and the um, impervious surface calculations that impervious surface was still decreased because they were removing the patios so okay. I talked it over with um, BSS design because I will you know we thought it should have been an amendment but yeah. after we looked at the plan and talked to them this was the easiest way to go. Okay. Thank was you. that the one that had the sluice way that went in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did they fix that? No. We'll have them fix it though. Okay. 
Wouldn't well, you have something? No. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Is unanimous. <coughs> Elizabeth Ledwell, 26 AMVETS Ave, Falmouth, Mass, for permission to upgrade the subsurface sewage disposal system to a Title V septic system. Staff recommends a negative two under the state and bylaw. Resource area boundaries are not confirmed. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, a call for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous. <clears throat> Sue A. White, 36, Wacoit Highway, East Falmouth, Mass, for permission to upgrade to a Title V septic system. Staff recommends a negative two under the state and bylaw. Resource area boundaries are not confirmed. So move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? And none a call for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous. Uh, Michelle and David Terry, 12 Edgewater Drive, East Edgewater Drive East, East Falmouth, Mass. For permission to mow Phragmites and replant with high tide bush once eradicated. Okay. Yes, Mr. Chairman, this application has been withdrawn. I'm sorry? It's withdrawn oh, Okay. We don't need to vote on no. that. Oh. One, okay. <clears throat> Request for a hearing under a notice of intent. All hearings of the Falmouth Conservation Commission are held simultaneously under the authorities of the Massachusetts Wetlands <coughs> Protection Act and the Falmouth Wetlands Bylaw. Although a single decision of the commission is issued, it represents a separate decision under each authority. First up, Brian J. McLaughlin, 79 Gerard Ave, Falmouth, Mass, for permission to renovate the existing home, construct a porch addition, and to install mitigation plantings. I mean, you all should have. Uh, did you put that staff report in front? You all should have uh, the staff report in front of you for this one as well. Yes. Okay. Thank you. No problem. <coughs> it's really helpful to yeah. have those. We're <laughs> trying. I want you to know it's appreciated. We know. But thank you. Kevin's doing good work. Thank you. I get them. Thank you. What were you elected at? Keeper of the records or something? I think that's my title. I did not. Don't make fun of me. I can look over his shoulder. That was a you legitimate know that nomination. I'm told. <laughs> not questioning. You're giving me two? Do you have nice two? Nice property. I don't. You well, I'll get mine to the record. No, I'll put mine in the record. Kevin and I can you share. Can share. That's right. We're fine. Yeah. You just have to make sure I get one because it goes into the record. Okay. My name is Michael McGrath. I'm a registered professional engineer and professional lands favor. I work for Holmes and McGrath and we filed the uh, the uh, notice of intent that I'll now describe in detail. And here's my, <laughs> I always have this joke. No, 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 that's here. It's right here. Mike, are you right down on the bottom? Yes. Yeah, you? Okay. Yeah, that's me. So what I've done is I've delivered to you a, uh, a copy of this. Um, this site is located, this is the entrance to Falmouth Head Harbor, and this is Vineyard Sound on this side. So this is off of Girard Avenue, um, and uh, the bottom line is that you, um, it, it's the, well, it, it's right at the entrance to Falmouth Inner Harbor. The site has been developed over time. There's, a, there's two dwellings on the site. There's a, a small dwelling and a larger dwelling. There's a timber bulkhead all along this face. Um, there is a uh, pier, uh, it's a ramp and float in this area. There's riprap that's actually owned by the, and a jetty that's owned by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. This black line 
is the property line between um, the, uh, the Locust site and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And what the proposal is, is they're going to be doing work on the inside of the structure, and there's going to be a, um, a proposed porch, and proposed steps are the only exterior alterations. And under, you have regulations that require plantings that are based on how much is within uh, a A zone and how much is within a B zone. And by our calculations, there's 20 square feet in an A zone of alteration and 50 square feet in a B zone. So the A zone is this, there's a line that goes through like this. And so the steps are in an A zone and the proposed porch is in a B zone. Under your regulations, we're supposed to have a total um, mitigation of uh, 100 square feet. I'm sorry, 160 square feet, and we show 160 square feet of vegetation that's planted right here. Um, if you've been to the site, um, um, quite a few years ago, there was a septic system that was constructed at this location, and there is an existing wall, and uh, that that's where the location of the, the uh, septic is. The axis is on, off of Girard Avenue, and uh, the bottom line is I think that this is uh, an approvable project. It is, does lie within a velocity zone, but the whole site is within a, a velocity zone. So in um, any case, if you have any specific questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mike, you're proposing to plant beach grass, is that it? Uh, I have to go back and look. Uh, yes. Okay, usually the board requires like woody, woody shrubs for mitigation. And also, is that porch, did you measure the 75 foot setback from land under ocean? Because if uh, I put the scale, if you've got a 1 to 20 scale, and well, I can never find the right scale. There we go. It's going to be close that you're still within that A zone to the land under ocean with the porch. Ah, uh, yes, yes. So that means we need to increase the amount of mitigation and then revise it to at least staff's recommendation would be we'll revise it to woody plants because we don't usually allow beach grass. Well, it is a dune, so we will have to add some shrubs that are that grow in dunes. That's fine. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Anything else? Kevin? Oh, and then we'll make a finding that they're increasing in the velocity zone that 70, what did we say it was? 70, 70 square 70. feet. I know you like that more. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, that's any other comments, Kevin? Did you pick up on No, anything? no more comments. Okay, we're done. Courtney. Um, Staff report says it all. I missed it. I guess my only that no, question is, um, I missed it. what came first, the chicken or the egg here on the, and I don't know this isn't part of our thing, but I'm just curious about the walkway and the bulkhead and everything else that's on Massachusetts land was that had, was that taken by him in a domain or how how did how did this end up being licensed to him and it's on another property? Uh, if you it was licensed, there is a valid license. If you're curious, I'll submit the license for the file. But I didn't think that was. No, no, I'm I'm just yeah. it's not I'm not trying to find a hidden um, deal here. I'm just trying to understand. Is this license issued to the it was owner a, of that building, McLaughlin? It, and, it was either issued to him or the previous owner. But I, I'd be happy to provide you a copy of the license. But, but it's on the Commonwealth land? Yes, yeah, yes. I'm, it's kind of odd. I always can wonder how that happens. Was there permission given? I mean, you know. If the Commonwealth issues the license, then they must have given permission. Okay. So uh, the fact that there's a license that's been issued on it means that the Commonwealth gave permission. Maybe it was there prior to the house. 
-hmm. No other questions. I only <coughs> have one question. I'm glad that we're just switching over to Woody Indigenous, but the um, is there public access required here? Since this is common, yeah. Well, presumably, this all is public. Yeah, but I didn't say it says you can get there from here. You know, usually, they have a sign public act. I don't know. It just there's a lot. You'd of have to look at the waterways license. I don't. Yeah. yeah, the license would be helpful, Mike, because that way there, I mean, that's a lot of places <coughs> for people to the public to use. So okay. I'm just curious. Yes. Thank you. Mike, while we're on questions that aren't directly relevant to this project, <coughs> can you explain what this big blowout is in the dune? Uh, let me, uh, for the benefit of the audience, uh, I walked out here today and I know there was a, an area that's like that in the dune. I don't know exactly how it occurred, but it, it exists. And I know that this was installed pursuant to a notice and an order. But I don't I know mean, why I don't have support. any problem with the pathways to there. Yeah. It's just, I, I'm just curious as to how that might have happened. And presumably, if you leave it, vegetation will fill in there. I don't know hope. how it occurred. Okay, thanks. A lot of it's on Thelma Heights. Ross? No questions. I'm good with it. Steve. <coughs> yes, staff addressed my concerns. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. No questions. Mark? No questions. Wow, oh, we're doing well. Betsy again. Cooper. So, well, before. Before we get into an issue that we suggest something and we haven't discussed it, since this is going to be, uh, I don't know, have you figured out how much additional mitigation? I'm just wondering, since it's going out into the lawn and it'll be kind of separated from what's vegetated already, I mean, it'll just have little plants relative to the vegetation mm -hmm. that's there. I'm wondering whether um, we should suggest that there be a delineation, like with a split rail fence single or a single rail fence. Mm. Okay. I will ask the client if he would agree that on the edge of the new um, new vegetation that's going to be installed in this area, would he agree to uh, a modified split rail? fence that's only one rail high. Right, right, right. So yeah. Yeah, kind of like I'm describing this for the audience because oh, right. they, they don't understand what you're talking about. And I, unfortunately, I do. Yeah, it doesn't have to be more than a foot or Yeah, I just want to delineate a, the not even a foot high. planted area from the lawn. Yeah, they're right. not even a foot high. Before, it could be smaller than that, even than that, Mike. Okay, I understand. I'm, it's one, one rail yeah. high. Single rail. Yeah. Yep. Off the ground. Okay. Uh, Mike, do you want to ask your client about the fence and continue it for a week, or do you want to close it and just give me the revised plan with the revised calculations and a note that it's going to be woody shrubs instead of the beach grass? Uh, uh, I think all of these issues, the only issue, well, I think we could close the hearing subject to me giving you the following. Um, a license, we're going to change the area of plantings and we're going to describe whatever public access is um, in the license plan. You're not going to change the and location of the plantings, you're going to increase, increase the, the amount. Increase yes. the plantings. Just wanted to clarify that, Mike. Yes. And then we'll show a... Um, Small yeah, fence the for the boundary. Yeah. Yep. So it can I'll be green in color and blend right in. I'll make a motion to close the hearing and take it under advisement. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion from the board? Any comments from the public? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor of closing the hearing say aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous.
The one question, yeah. can I have to like Monday or Tuesday to get these planes in? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McGraw. I mean, if you don't get us the plans, Mike, it's just going to be written into the order and <laughs> you're just going to have to require to put them in before you do the project. Mm -hmm. Next up is a continued hearing under notice of intent. Anthony Newman, senior trustee, 45 Child River Road, East Falmouth, Mass, for permission to install a new pool, apron fence, and all associated clearing, excavating, grading, filling, and landscaping. Your quorum is Courtney, Betsy, Jamie, Russ, Steve, Peter, and Mark. So. Courtney, Betsy, Jamie, Russ, where's the last one? Courtney, Betsy, Jamie, Russ, Steve, Peter, and Mark. Kevin's not here. Bear with me, I apologize. I loaded this on before, but I guess it erased. Jack, do you need help too? Nope. Okay. I should be all Good. set. Um, Bull Pro. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Good evening. Uh, for the record, my name is Jack Landers Collie. I'm a civil engineer, private practice retained by Mr. and Mrs. Newman to present the plan and the application that's before you this evening. Give you a little background information. As you already know, it's been before the board and it was continued specifically to address mitigation planting and uh, given the proposed project. Um, since that first hearing, um, I met with the Newmans on a couple of occasions and told them the, what, the, what the goals of the Conservation Commission are. That is, whatever we do in this area, and um, I'll apologize again for my misinterpretation of the use of the bylaw, but whatever we propose to do in this area, we have to, in effect, show mitigation planting to the two to one ratio. So in order to do that, what we did is we rotated the kidney-shaped pool a little bit. That is, we rotated it counterclockwise. We took the wider apron and made it a two-foot coping. Um, and as a result, we have a product that's proposed to have 645 square feet of impervious area. That's the coping, the walkway, and the pool. In light of that, this area here which was staked in the field, presently is, is mulched and has trees um, in this vicinity. These solid circles are those existing trees. What Mr. and Mrs. Newman has, has said is they will substitute, they will remove the mulch and put planting in this entire area. And I think at the top of the page, yeah, we've identified what they are. We think this is a reasonable um, um, proposal for the two to one mitigation for the proposed work that's um, on the south, well, I'm sorry, the northeasterly corner of the lot, upland of this retaining wall, and this is closer uh, to the resource area. So um, that's what we're proposing. Um, one of the staff members was kind enough to call me and tell me that they're still concerned about the construction access. And what I wanted the board to know is that we intend to come down here and go through here. It may require a small modification right in here where it bottlenecks in order to excavate this area. The actual placement of the pool will be done by a pump truck that is a pump concrete truck, um, or they will spray it with gunite, but they're, they'll stage here, actually go over the overstory, and they'll place it in there. So the excavation will be done by coming up around here, 
for the construction of the pool. It has to be done by machinery. Will will be accessed here, and then there'll be handwork for the coping. There'll be handwork in terms of sealing the pool. There'll be handwork for the creation of this of this apron. Um, I don't know if the apron's going to be a concrete surface or if it's going to be a um, tile or some type of patio surface. I suspect it's going to be. Uh, homogeneous and continuous and it will probably be uh, some type of concrete product so um, that's the proposal that's before you this evening Thank you. <coughs> Jack the, the construction access from the little grave gravel blowout little gravel driveway right over here yeah. you don't have to take any trees out or anything to get through there well if they use a pump uh, truck. They, it's going to be articulate. It's going to reach right over. All right. And the mitigation plantings. Thank you for increasing them. That, that that's great. Um, if the board hasn't been out there, Kevin and I took a ride out there late this afternoon just because I couldn't remember what that area looked like. It is currently mulch. It's kind of on a slope. Um, it has you know ornamentals in it, hostas, and a few trees. The only thing I would point out to the board is you usually like your mitigation plantings directly adjacent to your resource areas. This is a little separate with that little bit of lawn, but it will, you know, increase the wildlife habitat value in that area. Um, and between the lawn and the water, there is a substantial amount of healthy, you know, mature like bayberry and things like that. Yeah, right so, up in here. This is this is yeah, all well right in vegetated. there where Jack's little hand is. Yeah. So, that, those are our only comments. Anything else, Kevin? No? No, you no. Mark? No comments. Peter? Um, there was some discussion last time about showing the uh, retaining wall. Yeah, right over here, Courtney brought up, the, I believe it was Courtney brought up um, a question about that. We addressed it two ways. We did rotate the pool to get it away from that, and we made the, the coping smaller. So we don't believe they have to put a short retaining wall in there. They can blend it. No further questions. They can blend it. Thank you. I remember that, Peter. Thank you. I think I brought that up. Yeah. Please? No, I have no questions. Thank you for working on my revision. No questions. I make a motion to close the hearing and take it under advisement. Second. Thank There's you. A motion and a second. Any further discussion from the board? Any public comment? Hearing none, call for the vote. All those in favor of closing the hearing, take, please say aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous. Thank you, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Up. Request to amend the order of conditions. James Kerrigan and Jennifer Coombs, 28 Ashley Drive, Falmouth, Mass, for permission to increase the length of a ready rock wall by 101 feet in length. Good evening again. For the record, my name is Jack Linders Call. I'm a civil engineer in private practice, and Jim Kerrigan and his wife Jennifer. Um, Detained me uh, over a year ago to prepare this plan and Smith and Snow Group plan. And uh, we've come full circle to come back and ask for an amendment. Um, because the wall is new, the staff recommended that we re advertise, and we have re advertised to the immediate abutters. Um, in Unless you received a letter, I, I suspect there's no specific interest in this project. What it is um, and was discussed, to be candid with you, a year ago, what was discussed in this project is that area between the house and the 100-foot buffer. And I don't remember if it was Courtney or if it was the staff, but someone had mentioned the transition from the house to the outside. You have to believe me when I say 
I, I warned Mr. Kerrigan about that. He, at the time, didn't understand the, what we were saying. That is, this is 19.5, this is elevation 14. I think, and he knows what he's doing. I just don't think he paid attention to it. So he started the project, and he calls me up, and he says, Jack, I have a problem. I got a five-foot differential over in this corner, and over here, it's more like two. It's elevation 16 over here. It's 14 over there. And so I said, well, geez, you know, I, the first thing you got to do is stop work. So we stopped work, and um, we discussed it. And so what I, I told him I would do is I would propose putting a, a ready rock wall along the limit of work so we could pick up that difference. And, and quite frankly, if I had thought about it earlier, I may have, been, with him, I might have insisted upon that. But this lot, if you take a look at it, and I don't know if you have recently, it kind of begs the question that it should be terraced. And the only way it's going to get terraced is by putting a, a wall in, whether the wall's here or it's down there or up there. <coughs> the fact of the matter is you have elevation 24 up here and you have elevation 14 there. And I think certainly Courtney knows this from his experience in the past, when you have a 10-foot differential, you have to pick it up somehow, either architecturally or um, by grading. Um, originally, I thought he was going to possibly put up a slider, make a full basement, and have a slider door here to pick up the vertical difference, but he says that's not what he wants to do. So, hence we're back here in front of the board. Um, I think this proposal, which is the construction of the wall here, and it's actually longer than I truly think you need it, but I didn't want to have a, f a failure of notification. What I mean by that is I showed the wall here. I'm not absolutely sure he can't modify that with grading, but I showed it because I know I can get it to work. And over here, where it's elevation 16, the first floor is 18, I mean, uh, 19 and a half, the outside would be about 17 and a half. I'm not absolutely sure he needs the wall over here, but I showed it because I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I'd rather not propose 80 feet of wall and then end up building 100 feet and then having come back for an amendment and to ask for forgiveness. Um, I, having said that, I think there are, to be candid, I think there are two potential drawbacks. The first is that we're proposing a wall right along the limit of work. Um, I don't feel too uncomfortable about that because up here, this ready rock, you can almost place it on grade. What you would have to do is clear and grub the organic layer, and once you get down to a either a uh, sandy loam or a loamy sand, um, have sufficient strength of the soil to place the wall up there. Uh, the wall at its worst location would be about six, six and a half feet high here, but here it's, it's practically zero, and over here it's about um, three and a half. So it varies as you go along the wall. It's three and a half here, it goes up to six, it goes from six down to zero depending where you are. That's the first thing. The second is the B buffer is right along this line. So I honestly didn't know how the board was going to interpret that. I was going to say, okay, it's a B buffer. There's about 85 feet of wall there. Um, we should propose 85 square feet of planting. However, when I look at your, your bylaw, I can't put planting within 10 feet of the perimeter of the foundation, which that is mandatory planting within 10 feet. So either um, we can do one of several things. Um, I'm hoping that we can get relief from the board and, and, and show 85 square feet of planting here, or um, with the board's ascent, the property line's right here, but if you know White's Landing, this is all shoulder. Mm -hmm. I think the town actually excavated onto my client's property. So what I was going to suggest is that we take a line 85 feet long by a foot wide or maybe 42 feet long by two feet wide and just show some planting down there. I didn't show it because I didn't know how the board would feel about that. But um, it's my opinion that 
to get complete compliance, we need at least 85 square feet of additional planting somewhere. There are, so that's, that's, that's what's before you. No, we, we talked with Jack about this project. I think my, my original concern w with this particular location is that the, the applicant had no outdoor living space. It's just a house. There's no deck. There's no nothing. And we had, uh, and I think I had asked that of Jack, like, that there's no deck patio or anything like this. It creates a little bit of outdoor space for them by flattening that out, building that wall up. Um, we'll find a place to put your 85 square feet, Jack. We'll find it somewhere. And um, just for the record, I do believe the town obtained easements from all the property owners when White's Landing went in. So. Well. And I don't think he was the property I, owner at the time. So. No, no. I, I, I'm a little befuddled because I, I would like to think we would have found that easement when we did our title work, but. Um, I don't know. Either you know that what? or it, It's water over the dam. Yeah. <clears throat> it's water over the dam. So. Um, so that's the entire project that's before you this evening. Can I answer any questions? I'm more with you guys as to where the mitigation would go. Yeah, unless you have a specific place you want to place them. Yeah, we'll just add it into the thing and we'll work with Jack to place them somewhere. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm good. Steve. I am also good. Peter. Good. Mark. No comments. That's it. I'm good. Um, I just had a question on the ready rock wall. Did you, what, what is it like, Jen? I've never seen it. The ready rock wall, what it, is it just they're, blocks? They're pre-cast concrete walls. They come in different textures depending on your taste. Okay, they're like a cinder block almost. Yeah, they're like a, yeah, they're like a yeah, cinder block. And they're, they're a solid block and right. they'll have a knob on the top and then the block that goes on top of it will have a depression. Yes. That's one way of building it. They also have keys. And they, and Courtney's okay. I think it's going to kind of like the wall that yeah, they the, built on the yeah, shoot, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. on the shoot at Old it's Silver. It's a gravity it's a modular. Wall. Yeah, yeah, it's a gravity wall, and it's holding back six. It's six feet tall at one point, and that's a lot of fill. That's all. I'm just concerned that you know that it's structurally sound and it doesn't topple over with that much fill behind it. Yeah, I think the and, Courtney and has something. Are, the, the steepest place is going to have the planting. I'll, which I'll address that. I, I'm just. I want to hear what Courtney has to say. Well, I, th I think you probably were going to be at the same point. If, I believe if it's over four feet, it's got to be engineered, and you'll have to pull a separate right. permit. Most of those precast ones are oh, engineered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you'll they need are engineered. And from they are. Yeah, we have a pan We have a booklet on it. It's yeah. got to be this and, thing. And then you'll have to get a permit from the building department. No. Okay. That was, I so, just was concerned that you know there's a. You can get us a door. copy of the engineering sure. certificate. And that was it. And just in the future, I think, Jen, when we get these revisions in, it would be, it used to be they'd say revised and then they'd tell you what the revision was. So that I, it's like you have to take your old plan, your new plan, and I'm trying to figure out what were the revisions. Jack, so next just time you do a revision, please put a brief description of what the revision is. I mean, this one you did add, you have the asterisk with add retaining wall details. Yeah. Right, because but the last time I was here, you said something, so I. Yeah. Right. Thank okay. You. And I want to thank you for that. Okay, so, but I, yeah, we'll, we'll make a greater effort to, to clarify the revisions. It makes it easier for staff as well for right. compliance. No question. No. Yeah. I just, I just want to ask you, even if this is a ready engineered wall, does it have, like, it's six feet high, does it have places for water to come out? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there. The, the, there's. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen walls come over too. The engineering is pretty simple, but they they set it on a gravel base that's compact, and then it goes up, and typically it it can't it in a little bit against yeah. the hill, um, and it's all interlocking, and then typically the, you'll be, they may, at certain heights they may require some. Uh, I've forgotten what to call it's sort of like a mesh. Yeah, geotextile yeah. material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, oh. you know, that's what the engineering will show. Yeah. Um, and that's that should be submitted to us, but it also, you need to get I'd a building permit. To. I'd be happy I've to. I've been there, done that stuff, yeah. Jack. So yeah. I know that's what we have to do. Motion. Motion. Close. Make a motion and close the hearing. Take a better Second. Advice.
Do you have a motion and a second? You. Any further discussion from the board? Any comments from the public? Are you disappointed? I, I'm amazed. <laughs> <laughs> In a good oh, way. Know. In a good way. Short and so. sweet. So. All those in favor of closing the hearing say aye. 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 Opposed? I unanimous. want to thank you very much. Thank you. And have a good evening. Thank you, Jack. Next up, other business. CPC representative. Um, Steve is taking on a different position, so that rep to the CPC is an open. Excuse me? CPC. Yes, I think somebody is. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Chairman. I volunteered. Oh. All right. All right. Good the board. end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the end it, it's till when, Russell? July. Till July. Yeah. Not oh, till December. On. So I I nominate Peter with the hope that he's so thrilled with the job and the responsibility that he takes on another three years after that. <laughs> <laughs> Second. Good night, Jack. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Second. Thank you, Peter. Second? I did. I seconded I'm it. Sorry, I'm sure the chairman of the CPC greatly appreciates Very it. much so. We all do. As, as does the, um, the rest representative from the Housing Authority. As, as, as do the rest of the board. Yes. Look at the bright tie. You'll be giving money away. All right. All those in favor? I don't say aye. 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 Thursday, though. Thank you, Peter. Because the board hasn't had the chance to formally accept it. Oh, they're going to oh, take two okay. and a half seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, he didn't get all the handouts for this week. Oh, you just wait. <laughs> you think there's a lot of paperwork with mm. conservation? Oh my God. It doesn't come every month. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. It You're going to get a big box. Logs. All right, don't scare them. No, he's only no. Thank you, Peter. No out now. But Russell's right. You get to give away money. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Next up, discussion of Holcomb petition article. Yeah, so I think I sent you all an email. There is a um, petition article that has been submitted for the warrant for the November town meeting. It has been submitted by um, Mr. Holcomb, Nathan Holcomb of 270 Sipilicit Road. You all remember that project. Certainly. And he is at, um, submitting the article to modify and change the Falmouth Wetlands Bylaw to um, change the basically the definition almost of a freshwater wetland to um, and give it a size limit. So he is petitioning to um, basically not protect any wetland under 10,000 square feet, which is a quarter of an acre. Um, it is actually larger than some building lots in the town of Falmouth. A lot of building yeah. lots. Which is of concern. The Board of Selectmen on se September 23rd um, have a meeting, I believe, um, to hear the petitioner's articles. It's just a presentation to the Board of Selectmen. There is no discussion back and forth between the petitioner and, let's say, the CONCOM. At that point, the discussion will be at town meeting. Um, if the board would like to submit um, their position to the Board of Selectmen, we may do so. Um, and we can write something up and, and submit it on the behalf of the Conservation Commission. <coughs> um, but it means that we will be all attending town meeting. I have friends at town meeting. Thank you, guys. Um, and we'll we will there. have to address the, the petitioner's article on town meeting floor. Would that letter of comment be read into the record at that Board of Selectmen meeting? Or is it, we just submit it for your consideration? I don't mean to put you on the spot, I just don't know the procedure. Don't mean to put you on the spot, Sam, but I didn't get I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's, public, it's a public record. The, yeah, it's, it's a public record. record. I mean, the town, record. you know, I was talking to the assistant town manager today just because I didn't know the process, I had forgotten what the process was, and he said if the if the CONCOM wanted to submit a letter to the Board of Selectmen, you could. I, I don't know if it's read into the record at that point or not, Sam. I'm a little puzzled. Okay. Myself, anyways. 
Well, I can't answer your question. Okay. Because we don't normally deliberate. No, yeah. you just hear the, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if, so reading the letter would create a debate. It might get sent out yeah. along with the warrant by the petitioner, just as, uh, well, okay. you guys would send it out along with the warrant as a decision that the time's not the day. Yeah, I, so. I mean, I can get clarification. I mean, the, the Board of Selectmen's meeting is I'm not until. curious about the procedure. Yeah, the, the 23rd. So let me get clarification on that. Okay. I'll see something spells them, so. I know. Um, and I will get back to you next week. How about that? Perfect. Thank okay. you. Okay. Oh, we have time? Yeah, I would ju just suggest that we, we vote as a board that we recognize the importance of wetlands and that we will have a position. We'll, we will be, we, we don't agree with this position and we will be be explaining on town meeting floor. Okay. Sounds okay. like a good level. Yeah, I'll, I'll clarify uh, the procedure and draft something up for you guys to look at next week. Okay. Please. Okay. No? And yeah, and that and that's it. But I did I did send you. Mr. Holcomb wasn't able to to be here this evening. He did see it on your agenda, and he did um, send along what he had. And I don't, I can't remember if this was included in what I sent you, but he did send along what he had sent to all of yeah, his um, yeah. a lot. property neighbors and everything. So you do have his, you know, his, his statement regarding his petition. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Motion to adjourn. No, oh. I have one other piece of business that came this morning. I think I sent it all to you. It was, I think I forwarded it to Jamie because it went to all the, ch uh, it went to me and then the chairman. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, it says, remember that the um, joint meeting between the Board of Selectmen and the Water Quality Committee was going to happen on Monday. It is now, it just says, um, I'm emailing to confirm that the originally pr proposed joint meeting for the same date on Monday, September 16th has now been changed to a selectman's meeting with two primary topics. One, a significant plan presentation by the Water Quality Management Committee detailing the recent work of the consultant in identifying the, the next proposed area for the wastewater system expansion. And this is anticipation of town securing successor, a successor comprehensive wastewater management plan permit from DEP and then two to review and action by the Board of Selectmen on the proposed warrant articles for town meeting and those are not petition articles those are the regular warrant articles correct correct okay um, so so that won't be an official meeting on our part no and I don't believe it, it really was you were you were not it wasn't it was not a joint meeting between between the Board of Selectmen and the um, CONCOM, it was a joint meeting, I believe, between the Board of Selectmen, um, Wastewater Management, uh, Wastewater, water I'm sorry, wa Water Quality Management Committee, and I believe the Planning Board. Yeah, it was the Planning, yeah. so, was the planning Board. Yeah, but in the, yeah. It was planning. It was planning, uh, well, oh, okay, right. planning. Originally it was yeah. planning and the okay. Board of Selectmen. <coughs> yeah. So just to clarify that. Are you so, planning on attending? If I can, yes. Yep. Um, I just have a conflict on the 23rd, so I won't be able to, to attend the petitioner articles for the VOS, but Which we can't. can't comment on comment anyway, on but if somebody wanted to go and just listen, it wouldn't be a bad I'll idea. I'll plan on yeah. if anybody else wants to. And you have nothing else to do. Um, <laughs> Monday nights are slow. And that's still at the library, correct? The Herman one? Yeah. Correct. Right. Okay. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Uh, All those in favor say aye. 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 aye.